got a unboxing of the Nocta Force Core Pro Package. As you can see here, doesn't look like too bad of a machine. On the side there, it shows what all comes with it. We've got uh, three coils, carry bag, headphones, recharger, uh, rechargeable batteries, embroidered hat, finds pouch. Quite a bit in this uh, little kit here. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing one, obviously check down below in the description. There'll be a link in there for Chuck Smalley from SW Detectors. Great guy to deal with. Uh, I'm sure if you've seen any of the other unboxings, you're familiar to seeing his link in there. I've dealt with him a number of times. So, let's get on with it. What's in the box? Well, I don't know. Let's uh, try to get it open here and see. Obviously, it's, it's a fairly durable box definitely tight fitting so let's uh, get this up here and see okay first off you see the note the label logo and I gotta say, this is a little different for uh, detector carry bags and unboxings. You see on the bottom side here, it's set up like a backpack. You've got your straps, or you've got a good quality carry handle. Uh, it's refreshing. Usually we see the standard, like gun style, carry bags. Good heavy zippers on the case. So, uh, get a look here, on the top layer, nice, looks like we've got our 11 inch coil, wow, that is light, very very light, feels like good durable ears on the coil, coil cover, I'm guessing that they're, yeah, it looks like they're epoxy filled coils. Let's get that up there again. And, uh, let's see. Nice quality cable the way it looks. Good connector. So we've got that in, in the compartment there on the top shut that back up you don't want anything falling out on us on the other side here Wow 15 inch double D also very very light it it doesn't even really feel like you're holding anything I'm kind of kind of liking that it looks like Nokta really put some thought into their design so we'll shut that one back up let's see here there's there's another zipper so now we'll get into the main compartment of the case flip this up okay let's see here looks like we've got us a pair of headphones seems like the muffs are very comfortable I believe these are Philips brand looks like single cable straight jack so if that's your thing great uh, myself I'll be running a pair of Grey Ghost on these rather than the Phillips headphones. Looks like we've got our owner's manual, paperwork, DVD. Nice thick manual, but it covers uh, 10 different languages. Okay, finds pouch. 
feels like a uh, simulated leather maybe maybe leather looks like it's got the uh, pin pointer holder on it little d-ring to tether your pin pointer to velcro closure ah, d-ring on both sides and a uh, shoulder strap I guess so that's kind of a nice little touch there there again we've got fine spouches so we'll probably just leave that in the case ah that's interesting it's got uh, compartments inside here they're also zipper closure and they're attached to the bottom of the bag physically so you can't remove them they're always set in place and in this one we've got the uh, Nocta embroidered hat velcro closure that's nice and let's see what else we got here looks like we've got our arm cuff that is uh, definitely heavy duty that's a thick aluminum arm cuff nice padding not not used to seeing something like that usually we're used to seeing the thin aluminum or plastic arm cuffs uh, looks like in here we've got what do we have okay this is our charging system for the batteries it's got the wall charger or car charger to charge your batteries up not sure what charge time would be like we'll have to see Runtime, if I remember right, on a set of batteries, arm cuff strap, is uh, roughly 25 to 30 hours. There's the charger, rechargeable batteries, our coil hardware, nuts and bolts for assembly. Not bad. Looks like a couple of coil cl uh, cable clips, maybe. So we'll get that all down. Now let's see here. What's in the next one? Ah, five inch coil. Sorry about that. Okay, we've got a round, basically your your hockey puck style we're used to seeing, five inch double D. Once again, very quality cable and connector. Really just, I can't get over those loop ears. Those things are solid. I don't think anybody's gonna have an issue with breaking the ears. So that's definitely nice. Uh, also, the Pro Pack comes with the weather resistant covers, rain and dust covers basically. You've got one for the handle of the machine to cover the display, zippered up the side, almost feels like uh, maybe a neoprene style of material not sure a little spot in the back to uh, get access to your buttons on the handle and one more pouch to go see what we have in oh okay we've got the weather cover for the box seems to be a very thick uh, vinyl zippered decent quality definitely and here we have the brain of the machine you could say you've got your looks like your battery door there you can put your batteries in 
This runs on four AA batteries. Not bad. And you'll see compared to the original Force Core, uh, they did have rocker switches. They've since changed their design to the push button. But that's a nice, uh, decent sized display on the box. And then also we have, let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, Velcroed into place, that's nice. So there's the display on the handle. Looks like your your buttons are very positive. There's really not a lot of weight to this machine. And back here in the back, I hear them rattling around are the other shafts. Obviously there was our middle, here's our back shaft that we will be mounting the control box to. I feel like nice quality, good positive reaction on the spring clip. One-sided spring clip. And on the lower shaft one-sided spring clip good solid piece though nice uh, these aren't uh, I've heard in other reviews that the recovery speed is comparable to some of the higher-end machines it's very lightweight. It seems like it weighs in at just about four pounds, I believe. And looks like it's pretty self-explanatory how to set up. We've got, got our fittings on the box, a, uh, a speaker on the box, headphone jack cover. Nice looks like it'll be pretty simple to put together we'll get out with it we'll see how it does so look for it in upcoming videos we'll give it a good run for the money I think it's going to uh, be a very interesting machine to try out so we'll see until the next time thanks for dropping by